नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय बुदीर ये नष्ट प्रयेश भद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नईष्टि की ओम अज्ञान तिमरंजस्य ज्ञानांजन शलाके शक्षुरून मिलित मेन तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित मेन भूतले स्वयं रूपगदाम ददाति स्वदाधिक मंदेह श्री गुर श्रीयुत पदकमल श्री गुर वैष्णवांच श्री रूप सागर जात सागन रघुनाथाजीव साइत सवदूत परीजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादा सगन ललिता श्री विशाखा चे कृष्ण करुण सिंधु दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्पदर्भस कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूतले श्रीमथे भक्ति विकास स्वामी नम नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूतले श्रीमथे भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नम नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश धारणे श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिवाषादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण मै हमल ऑल द वैष्णव इयर जय स्टील प्रभुपाद सो टुडे अगेन वी आर कंटिन्यू सम डिवोटी आर नाउ यू नो सैंग माताजी नो वेन विल यू स्टार्ट द प्रेयर्स विल स्टार्ट सून द प्रेयर्स अगेन Mm. So we will have a break again, and then we'll start the prayers to um, stream at Bhagavatam prayers. I have so many, many, many things to discuss with you all. So that's why this topic is keep on going. So a question somebody asked me a question uh, that a uh, a woman is a devotee or a wife. she should fulfill the duties of a devotee or she should fulfill the duty of a family lady or wife which is more important so my answer will be the today's class so as a jeevatma as a human being bhakti is always gets the priority bhakti gets the priority right devotion gets the priority but how we achieve that is through the uh, uh, the body right how we get krishna prema we get the we have the body we take this as a medium uh, to practice krishna consciousness and we achieve the goal of human life similarly uh, we have a, as women as a different way of achieving the same goal that we should all clearly understand the role of women is different from the role of men when the society didn't understand this then the imbalance has happened when the society forgot how a women should be treated how a women should be protected how women should be then uh, all this uh, imbalance happened in the society so they only the impurity of thinking that women is equal to men then that impurity contaminated the society so much before in india we need not teach this three dharma at all because this was there in the blood of every stri no need to teach no need to teach a girl that you should love your husband you should have only one husband 
all these things there is no need to teach a uh, marriage is only once but now uh, you we see that even in devotee communities we see lots of divorces happening fighting happening no understanding uh, so i have seen in my life uh, they take up krishna consciousness but they don't take up stri dharma both are different or what so the question is stri dharma is as important as devotion similarly devotion is important both are like two legs if you don't have one leg then imbalance happens right both are like two eyes we need two eyes for a proper vision so devotion and stri dharma the duties of a stri are both are important so with one without the other uh, will definitely create problem like for example if uh, if a woman has to achieve her goal of life means uh, love of god ed then where she will uh, where she has to work on is the family man can become a brahmachari man can become a uh, sanyasi and he can leave the family and he can dedicate and achieve perfection but for a woman um, family is the ground where she can stand and run her life if you don't have a ground where will you stand then there is a space and you cannot hang around right if we don't have her where we will stand so the family life for a woman is a ground it is a, where she can work on on it so that's why both play very important role and a perfect women a intelligent women balance both if a, if somebody is a perfect stri uh, she follows stri dharma perfectly then she is a very good devotee also if somebody is a very good devotee and she is a very good stri um, very good dharma patini also somebody cannot claim that uh, i am a devotee but i am not a good wife some wife cannot claim that i am a good lady but i am not a devotee both are in into it so a good wife is also a good devotee a good devotee is also a good wife if something is missing uh, then it is not complete it is off only this or this thing we have to understand clearly so devotion and stri dharma are together not separated if somebody i have seen some practically i have seen many ladies they take up devotion but they don't take care of the family as i said you now then their devotion cannot be completed so i have seen many especially in mayapur that many ladies they leave their husbands come here and do devotional service so in one conversation i was conversing with one such mata ji uh, then i told i cannot imagine leaving my husband and living i said openly that i am very much dependent on my husband emotionally spiritually everything i depend on my husband for everything but she said i was like that before coming to krishna consciousness but now i am not Uh, th- this is the answer i am uh, but because she is not my counselee or she is not under my guidance whatever devotional service you do without your husband it is like this you clap hands noise will not come wife means ardhangini off you are only off if husband is not there then uh, the person is off only not full complete so this is the st- verdict of shastra say so a woman who understand this fact she will become successful so intelligent women understand this and capture the points given to her rules and regulations given to her then she will be successful as a wife also as a as a family lady and as a, um, a devotee if this is missing i have seen i have seen mataji is giving class 
um, sitting on Vyasasana after doing two, three diverses. They will not have power. You can divorce your husband and give Bhagavatam class, but it, it won't have effect. It doesn't have effect. You should prove that you are uh, you are living with your husband and family, then you can... Like, for example, if, if a sannyasi... Uh, this example I have seen in Western countries. I went to one country. There, uh, one brahmachari was giving class. And uh, he looked very, very vague. And I was wondering why I am feeling so... Then I understood that that Brahmachari was having a crop, normal, like, like men having, uh, like well, the outside men who are not non-devotee. Devotee means seven head and shikha. But this fellow is wearing saffron, but having a normal hairstyle. Then I understood, oh, <laughs> so it looks, uh, how it looks. Because Brahmachari means shaven head, tilak, saffron, full dedication to the uh, spiritual life and uh, I could find out oh uh, this is the reason I felt so this thing similarly uh, women means husband family children relatives she is not alone Sri means expansion she is with the with this if you get married to a man uh, that man is not alone you have to accept him with his family mother father then they become your uh, important uh, per persons these things we have to understand but nowadays uh, when they fix the marriage itself they are telling asking the boy should be away from the parents parents should not influence the boy uh, like that uh, uh, their demand is like this and the husband uh, the, the boy should listen to the wife all these uh, contaminations are there then, you know, it creates so much problem. Uh, um, here, uh, the woman is taught to conquer the husband by love and submissive service. So, this uh, Sri Dharma Paddhati is clearly saying, women get initiation at the time of marriage. Marriage is our initiation ceremony. So, you may ask then, why Prabhupada gave spiritual initiation? Okay, if this is the Sastra verdict. Sastra says uh, there is no initiation for women. Initiation is our marriage. Husband's guru is, uh, husband is our guru. Like this Sastra says. But uh, Krishna consciousness is above this and Prabhupada wanted that we also take up uh, Krishna consciousness uh, along with the family. It is not that he, he wants to break this rule, but he wants to uh, encourage women also to take up devotional service along with the family. We are seeing there are so many uh, Matajis coming forward, but Prabhujis are not coming. Or, uh, their husbands are not so much devotion. But here also that mat the particular uh, Mataji should understand that I may come forward in Krishna consciousness, but my husband is always, as I told you in many classes, being men. Uh, the birth of male, the, the body, the male body itself has a different uh, significance. They have some speciality. Like, uh, it is not degrading. It is a different species, but that is a higher species. But the women, the, the devotion is not denied to women. Devotion is given to women. But in the point of emotional intelligence, in the point of protection, uh, women should always be submissive. And women is not given Vedic education. And even to make Achaman, according to this uh, Sri Dharma Paddhati, women can purify like Shudras. Shudras take Achaman one time. <clears throat> but um, for Brahmana, it is three times, right, Achaman? For women, it is only one time. So some, some differences are there. But that dif differences doesn't make you, uh, doesn't deny you Krishna prayer. That point is there, no? 
So differences are there, no problem. Why it is the difference is there? Sri Dharma Paddhati is saying that we all studied Bhagavatam where <clears throat> Indra, after killing uh, Vishwarup, <clears throat> a Brahmin, who supported uh, de demons by giving oblations to them. So he immediately, uh, Indra cut off the head of uh, Vishwarupa. He is a Brahmin. So when you kill a Brahmin, then you get Brahmatya Dosh. That, that Papa, that sin, was divided into different, uh, uh, different categories, like women and trees and what earth and a uh, few more things. So the women got menstruation as the sin from Indra. So how to understand this? Indra committed sin, why it is given to women? Right? Women's birth is like this. They have, it is not an higher birth. It is not a, a very higher birth when uh, co comparing to men and women. Men are higher, definitely. Women are uh, lower. And uh, because of the previous karmas, and because of the previous desires, uh, she came into the, the soul came into a woman's body. And the sin, uh, uh, sin by uh, Indra Dev is shared by the women in the form of menstruation. He also gave some boons for that. He gave the sin also and gave the boon also. So the sin itself, the menstruation, but uh, if you, go deeper to understand that menstruation, it is also a purifying one. So every month she undergoes menstruation. Every month she is clearing off her sins. So if we undergo a bad, re bad karma, that means what is happening? Our bad karma is going off, right? If we, if we are, when we are suffering, we should understand that our bad karma is getting uh, over, getting over, they are getting uh, less. Similarly, the menses uh, the women undergo every month reduces our uh, sins. This is uh, in the in the religious point of view. In bodily point of view also, as long as the uh, women uh, menstruate, our body system is perfect. All the uh, unwanted blood, dirt, uh, or impurities in the body gets go off. That's why it is said that uh, menstruation is good, good for health, for women's health. So it gives her uh, immune, immune power also. So it is good because the impurities of the body is every month uh, is eliminated through menstruation. So women, women are designed in this way. And uh, but what happened in the society as a whole? So women are sometimes abused. Right? By seeing that the world reacted in a non religious way. In every religion, so far before uh, Kali Yuga's advent, every religion protected women, kept women at home, and um, they, then the society was peaceful, the world was peaceful. But some demonic idea came into scene that women should be given equal rights, women should be given freedom. Women should be given independence. Independence is given. It is not that totally withdrawn. Uh, if we see the Vedic uh, society, women were allowed to choose their husbands also. Swayamvar was there. Women were given some, uh, uh, some uh, freedom, but not total freedom. Uh, because of the, uh, we all know, because of the... Uh, women's nature like women's sensitive nature and she is fragile so for that reason also this um, childbirth a women's body itself is like that that uh, she needs protection rather she cannot give protection so she should be a protected uh, she is among the old uh, children and women when they say like this women children old people they are all protected right like that but uh, the demonic thought came into the society that women should be given equal rights, women should be given freedom, women should be equally treated. 
such demonic uh, uh, tendencies when entered the whole world, then such uh, we we are seeing day by day, day by day, day by day, the women are getting harassed more and more, which the women are not realizing at all. Because greed is uh, put into the society so much. So how the greed, how, like men, you also go, like men, you also go to gym, you also go to uh, factory, you also drive heavy vehicle, you also fly, uh, uh, you, know, you fly in the space, you also take guns and be in the military. Why women are in the military? <clears throat> you also you take equal, equal, equal. Equal, equal, equal disturb the society like anything. Then instead of the woman is uh, is a precious uh, uh, person, precious, women is a precious uh, thing to be protected by the society. But what happened by the especially by the family? What happened? <clears throat> the government has to uh, protect the women now, right? That's what happening in uh, Western countries. So what happened? They gave so much uh, freedom to the women, so much uh, priorities to the women, 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 women. Now the marriage system is destroyed. What is happening in the Western countries? Uh, you can divorce easily. Okay, Even for small, small misunderstandings, you can throw the husband. <clears throat> I have seen some devotees. Uh, they got married and lost all their property. Because the law is always supporting women. So uh, if they divorce, then uh, they have to give a large amount of uh, compensation. So in Western society, mostly they don't prefer uh, <clears throat> marriage. They are living together. Because, you know, then the men, is, men are very scared. Very scared. If they get married, then they will have to make the compensation. Many such things are there. So even devotees are not spared of these rules. They are very scared. They don't want to commit. Uh, so such, so negative. There is family life coming together. Husband and wife means 100% trust. The relationship is made on 100% trust, right? So uh, we, ha we had a system, we had a system that husband, wife, we promised before uh, fire, we are each other. Like uh, one lady, uh, she was the Brahmin, she was uh, conversing with me long before and she's a very modern lady and she said, you see, brother, mother, father, we cannot divorce them, but husband, we can divorce. She said, I mean, logically convincing. See, husband, mother, we cannot divorce the mother. We cannot divorce the father. We cannot divorce. These are all real relationships. The husband relationship, we can divorce. No. Who said? No. Once you married, means married. That, can, that relationship cannot be broken. So that understanding was there before. But now, because of uh, increase of such uh, demonic ideas, they think, oh, now this relationship is temporary relationship. One more lady was telling me how one can live throughout the life with one husband. These are all conversations which I had. Really, I can... I, really, I had these conversations from different ladies. How you can live with one so now we had to preach this, that this is the real strength for a woman. This is the real protection for a woman. Women should submit herself to the husband and family system. Then she is safe. If she comes out of it, then she is like a, like a, like a exhibition, like a, like a thing in the exhibition. Once uh, somebody, some one lady. Uh, um, journalist was interviewing Prabhupada. This is a very famous conversation. We all know. Mm. She was kept on asking Prabhupada, what is the role of women? What is the role of men? Prabhupada said, she is a wife. No, other than that, she is a mother. Other than that, 
when she was constantly asking, then other than that, nothing, prostitute. She's a prostitute. So uh, your uh, your role as a wife, why, why should we degrade that uh, wife role? Mother role is simple. Or becoming a CEO of a company, becoming, becoming a business magnate, becoming a journalist, becoming a doctor, engineer, this, that. They, the society now started uh, uh, this kind of scenario in the in the world. So they said that women should be independent. She should have her own bank balance. So uh, devotees, now we have to educate. We have to form a, a system uh, that this is not for women. Women should be protected within the framework of family. The husband should take that responsibility. We have to find such a husband. That's why in devotee society, uh, when I, especially when I arrange marriage, I just interview with the, uh, with boy and girl and make them understand that what is the role of a husband? What is the role of a wife? Uh, why women should not go for work? Why women should not demand so much uh, my, 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 my freedom, my this thing. When you humbly serve, everything is provided. Everything is given. So, uh, when we, uh, we all, many, I have seen many Matajis, after taking up devotional service, they choose to become, they love to become housewives. Because they know this is, this is the right, right thing. Because the uh, independency the women gets by earning money is very bad. Because women's nature is fickle. When she is given uh, money, then she will become very less intelligent. So the power of money should not be given to women because uh, uh, sometimes women become very, very bad uh, with the power of money. She may even throw the husband. She may uh, change husband. So such things are happening in the world, right? So that uh, we have seen everywhere. Uh, and they independently act, which is very dangerous for them. A question may arise. Uh, what if the husband is very bad and if the husband is not taking care of the family, what should be done? That's why we have the network of family system. Uh, the family in the family there are brother-in-law sister-in-law uh, father-in-law and um, from, uh, her own brothers uh, parents all this family network is there to protect if something goes wrong the society the, the family should take responsibility now government is taking responsibility because they broke the family system no now, family means no father, no mother, no mother-in-law, no father-in-law, no sister-in-law, no brother-in-law. Only husband and wife. If husband goes, only wife. Then the wife is being taken care by the government. That's what we, I have last class I told you, no? Uh, so, they may, especially in Western country, they make the uh, small girls also, teenage girls also very independent. Very independent. Do whatever you want to do. That was the uh, mood. And that mood, that culture is come, already came into India. Already came here. It's uh, like, you know, it's very fast it is coming. Living together, no commitments, fighting. And they don't know why they got married. What is the purpose of marriage? They don't know. They fight for tribal matters. So to break all these things, we are all, we have taken 16 rounds of chanting and we know the higher goal. Then we have to take this also. Because uh, uh, Western, especially uh, Western ladies, they are, they have taken up uh, bhakti. Uh, but they are not taking up Indian culture. Once what happened to one Mataji, she, she said, uh, she was kept on telling my husband, uh, she had four children, grown-up children. Huh? She said, um, 
my husband is not coming to temple. He is not chanting. He is the karmi. Like that. But uh, he came to the temple. I saw him. Uh, he was picking up devotional service. Picking up Krishna consciousness slowly. She said, I don't like him. I want to divorce him. I said, no way that you should never do. You have four children. Um, she said, you are from India, no? You will speak like that only. But you have taken Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is along with this, not away from this. Women can never sit in. And she divorced. She won't listen to me, no. She divorced. And then got married to another old man in his con and then hanging around with him. But that is not good in the eyes of the demigods and God, Supreme Personality of God. Women cannot sit in the uh, marriage a, a, a second time. That is not there for women. Men, men can marry many times, but uh, Sastra uh, Manu Samita says that women can get married only once. Only once. Not second time, third time, fourth time. Are, uh, so, uh, as devotees, we should understand this also. This rule is there for us. So, uh, I will be with this. Whatever is given to me, I will be with him. Whether he is a devotee or non-devotee, that doesn't matter. That also doesn't matter. I will be in the framework of family life. I will serve here. I will be successful in this. Then, that person is a real devotee. So I will follow the Sri Dharma which is given to me uh, through Sastras and through this framework I will take my flight to back home, back to guarded. Internally we have to be very strong in devotion. Externally we have to balance our household course, mainly wife role, mother role. And a family women's role very nicely. This comes first priority. Then, but devotional service can be done anywhere and everywhere. It's not that uh, you, I have seen some ladies, they travel alone. Um, there, uh, um, in one case, uh, husband wants to be in one place, but the wife wants to travel. See, if the husband's interest should be the wife's interest also. Of course, mutualism is good. You like this, okay, I will. The husband's part, we can say that husband should also adjust with the wife. Uh, but generally, if we see the Vedic women, you see the uh, Gandhari, such a chest lady. Why she got that much, that much power, you know? Because she sacrificed. What is the husband's... Husband cannot see anything. She she covered her eyes. You see. So as, as, that happiness also I don't want to have. Because my husband cannot see. I also don't want to see. That's why she the power. No? When, when the eyes were open. She could see Duryodhana. And Duryodhana got such a strength. From the mother. Hmm? So. Uh, wives. Uh, this particular uh, coming to the point that particular mother she wanted to visit many 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 places independently husband didn't like so wherever the differences come uh, we should understand that my interest should be along with this interest that's what we see in that uh, verse no seventh canto verse his interest is vrata is thing then uh, then we will be peaceful, he will be peaceful, the family will go peacefully. His interest is my interest. I always pray for his, because as I said, family means together, right? Husband off, wife off. Husband takes care of the financial part, wife takes care of the uh, maintaining part, cooking, cleaning, children. So the roles are very clear. But still, the modern society made it very unclear. Unclear, right? Very, very unclear. You see any uh, any modern uh, society, husband, wife, they go both, go for job. The children are <clears throat> in the, in the uh, play center or creech 
or with someone. Mm -hmm. So, society is going in an uh, abnormal route. Abnormal route, but if we understand the culture, then, then our life will be peaceful, our life will be nice. Everybody argues in the point of uh, economical condition. But that's why they argue, you no? Know, one Mataji was arguing that to go to Mayapur itself, uh, 50,000, 50, 60,000 happens. Why? Because they want to fly. Coming to Mayapur means only by flight. No other means. But uh, uh, Prabhupada always said simple living, high thinking, right? Why? Because... Uh, in the, in, the, in the expectation, I have seen um, expectation from girl's side, minimum 50,000 salary should be minimum 50,000. So one girl is not at all getting married. She went to London to earn money. The father is encouraging. She is from a normal background. What is more important, the father is not understanding. For them, what is more important is money. Money, foreign life. And uh, what is this? For a daughter, marriage is very important. All the other things are secondary. The father, mother should not sleep unless the daughter, mature daughter gets married. I have seen in countries like Switzerland and then Malaysia. The last class also I told that the girls are having loans, car loan, house loan. They are entangled before even marriage. We remain in rental house. No? Why do you want to have your own house before marriage? So one such girl, she crossed 40, 40 years. But she desperately wanted to get married. So she came to me. <clears throat> See, people come uh, <clears throat> not completely. Here and there. Not completely take guidance. is not there. So she wants to get married. That's the, that's it. But other things are there. She came and I also arranged. She said, I don't mind getting married to a already married person. Even children, no problem. I can adjust like that, she was telling. So I was very impressed. Okay. At the age of 40, what else you will get? Okay, I got her married. I mean, I connected her with one person. And I explained her the dangers in that marriage. She didn't bother. She directly came to India and uh, uh, once I gave the details of the person, she directly went. She didn't involve me. She didn't take my guidance in anything. She went and stayed in that house before marriage itself. And that person, they called me and said, uh, the person who you told, recommended, uh, she is here with us now. I said, okay, go ahead. Then she lived and then decided. This is happening nowadays. They come, live with that person for some days and then move with them like a friend and then get married. They got married, their marriage also, they didn't invite me. Not the point. After some years, I am getting the phone call. I am surprised. Oh, are you are okay? Are you okay? I told some points to her uh, that uh, this is some things which you are telling will not be favorable for your married life. What is the point she told? That she had loans. So for that after marriage, she wants to be in her place to earn money and then fulfill the loans. Then she will come to uh, her husband's house for living. Then this created a lot of gap between husband and wife. Beginning of marriage is very, very, very important. The wife should prove that I am yours. I will serve you. This is the basement of family life. If you don't have basement, how the building will come? This I notified. I told you may have loans. Let your father, let your brother uh, fill it. Are you sell that property or <clears throat> sell the car or whatever you have? dispose it, come with your husband. She didn't listen. She didn't even bother, no. Then after two, three years, phone call came. You know, Mataji, some problem comes only, we will disturb you. 
she herself no <clears throat> which is not fair right always take the guidance of the elders you are both of them are initiated devotees both of them are in krishna consciousness they should take guidance from the beginning no, no need to give big big respects but guidance i was she got separated she couldn't manage because another reason in such marriages as are that after a certain age the mind of women becomes like a men's mind because they become independent they start earning so and then they think i so far lived alone now also i will live alone i want to eat this i don't want to eat that my food is this my way of dressing is this so the things gets firm 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 in their mind body also becomes old and what do you say rough it is not fragile if you get married a 16 year 18 year before 20 before 25 is also okay <laughs> Before 30 is also okay. Above that is very risky. The mind, the body gets rigid. Then breaking that will be very difficult because she cannot be molded. As I told you from the beginning on in different classes, that a woman is like a changeable plant. A plant when they when it grows, like paddy, wheat, they are all grown in one place. And then shifted from that place to another place. If When they are very small, shifting will be easy. When they have become already a tree, then uh, 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 unrooting a tree and transferring into another place is not possible. This is the case with women also. If women uh, become uh, older and older, uh, then she becomes, you know, independent and like men. The womanly nature goes off. The submissiveness, the tenderness, all these things goes off. Then, then they, for the society sake, for the bodily sake also. Women also needs bodily enjoyment, which she didn't enjoy. So she wants, at least. The desire doesn't go. I have seen six, one, one lady, 50 years, hmm, with full backup, she she was looking like 30 and then uh, she came and then i said okay you she she has the desire to get married but the problem is she has career she has, she wants only in, in the country where she lives that's not possible the many older ladies who have become like this 40 plus they want to get married they have desires but the problem is they don't want to give up their career. They don't want to come come to uh, come where then you know they have to search search there only. It's not possible. So that's the reason that the elders should understand all these points. That to, instead of career, 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 better to uh, give the daughter in marriage to a simple person also is okay. Because career uh, destroy the life. Like you see, Gardama Muni got married to Devuti. Devuti was a princess. Manu's daughter, not ordinary, but where she lived? In a hut, a small hut. But okay, all these things cannot be spoken in this modern world. But um, we can find out a qualified, nice, better person for the daughter in as early as possible, right? Otherwise, Many contaminations enter into the mind of the girls and it pollutes. Pollutes. Um, I, we are seeing that, it, that, that that is happening. Then marriage delayed, childbirth delays. So parents should be careful and uh, we should understand all these facts. <clears throat> and we have to take up Krishna consciousness along with Sri Dharma. Understand Sri, Sri Dharma and go ahead with our devotional life. Right? So there are, as per Sri Dharma Paddhati, there are so different, many, many rules. After, after 
<clears throat> uh, studying all those rules, I got scared. Because we cannot be in such a very high standard, which they are saying. But one thing I definitely learned from that is that we can all remain with one husband. That, that oh, we should take one husband in one lifetime is only one husband. We can teach our children also, girls, that, you know, remain with one husband. Don't fight with him. Accept him. Because Krishna, God has given us the marriage, married life. So, however it is, I will manage. I will smartly handle. Use my intelligence. Remain submissive. Remain, remain in the service mode. If a woman is in the service mode, she will definitely survive. If she is swiftly doing all the household chores, make the husband dependent on her cooking. That is very important. Dependent on her love. As the women depend on the financial part of the husband, uh, physical part like protection of the husband, uh, the men also dependent on the emotional part of the women. So in that way, we can, uh, the, the, the wife can control the husband. Wife can definitely control the husband by her service, love and emotion. So in that way, the family together can advance in Krishna consciousness. So understanding all these points for, is for my well-being. For my safety. Because a spiritual life is not a show of thing. Oh, I'm something. Like in, in a material world, you go to office. Uh, you People are going in the office or uh, they are working. And they have some personal life and official life. But in devotional life or in family life, no such duplicity. There is only one life that is a transparent life. There is no duplicity in the in the like for example, I am here. I am I, I what I am in the house, I am outside also. I am a good housewife, I am a housewife ever everywhere. <coughs> I have no secret life or something or something I don't tell others, nothing like that. Right? For devotees, it is like that. It's not that you have a different life there, a different life there. No, not like that. We have only one life, which everybody knows. It is transparent and not uh, uh, like you see heroines, if you see them. They have ten husbands or three husbands, four husbands, which is not visible outside. But everybody knows how they are, what they are. Our life is not like that. Our life is like a clear, clean a river, which is pure internally, externally, in all the way. A woman's life should be pure. Pure. We, if we adapt these things, if some unfortunate thing happens, uh, like in the uh, life of Carnegie, the husband left her for another woman. But she tolerated. We are seeing many here also in uh, in this age also I have seen some ladies. They don't speak anything. They just tolerate. They don't speak about it. Tolerate it. They don't change husbands. They don't file a case. They don't go to court. Um, they don't uh, do all these things. So we don't, we, generally I advise, tolerate, adjust, make your husband dependent on your love. Then the marriage is very safe. Genuinely, if we do service, definitely there is no chance that uh, the marriage will have some problem. If somebody is genuine, uh, it will be visible. So, I stop here. So, Comments, questions are welcome. Hare Krishna.
हरे कृष्ण माता जी धनवत प्रणाम प्रणाम माता जी आई डोंट have any questions or comments i just have a realization from your class that you said that um, we tend to think that we we uh, women have to go to work and grow in the career and job and everything but you said that actually devotees will feel hated against work when they um, go so that's actually true mata ji i just thought i'll share that I um I've been only recently married, but still, I feel this job is such a burden to me. Initially, I thought you'll work. I know <laughs> when you worked also, I told you there is no necessary. Vaishnavi is at home and family. Yeah, yeah. grow fun. grow in devotion. No, now you yeah wonderful opportunity to <clears throat> more study more when the free time. Maybe in family life, no free time. Cooking, cleaning, taking care. right and then sadhana time will go like that but still uh, you try to grow both in family relations and in your sadhana also mm. 